I know I've talked to you guys before about my toolkit, and I got two new things. Hi, and welcome to Planning for Adventure. We're Jesse and David, and this is our crazy family. Whether it's van life or home life, we're always making the most of whatever comes our way through projects, plans, and adventures, be they big or small. We post a new video every week, so join us for the ride, click like, and subscribe so you don't miss any new content along the road. Welcome to the circus. Welcome back to the channel. It has been almost a month, I think, since we recorded or posted anything here on YouTube last. Um, the reason has been that I've really, really been just down and out, in, in all honesty. I think November and December, I mean like going into winter, it's that transition of temperatures that triggers fibro for a lot of people. I mean, it comes to a point where you go, okay, I'm in too much pain to be able to get out of bed. Some days my hands are not working whatsoever. I am exhausted beyond anything I can sleep away, which is really frustrating because I try to take care of myself and I try to do all of the things that I can and it's not enough. And that's, I know that that's the illness, but it's still super frustrating. I think for me, it's very much a question of taking things day to day. Like, okay, today, I can't get out of bed, then I don't get out of bed. Um, but I try to sort of look for alternative, alternative routes uh, or, you know, things, things that I can do from here. Um, other days I might have a little bit more energy, but also being aware that on days when I have a little bit more energy, I need to be careful and not totally below my energy on on one thing or a gazillion things because it's easy if you go oh I've got I've got spoons for those of you that are spoonies uh, I've got a lot of energy today um I can do this 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 and this but trying to budget it a little bit more we have had the crazy crazy week time span uh, in our family that always happens because we are a multicultural family. It was nuts and it was good nuts. You know what I mean? We're talking pecan here, people. It was, it was lovely and it was wonderful. I love hanging out with my family, but it also means that if I'm going to be able to be vertical, I'm going to need time to recuperate. And, um, and I'm taking that now it's um it's been really difficult pain wise as i said but for my birthday i got two things that are like ah. i know i've talked to you guys before about my toolkit for fibro uh, and my the the thing is i try to layer different things that will help with pain and i got two new things so I mentioned before that I have this microwavable um, little thingamajiggy that I put in the microwave and it, it's like a pillow, like what do you call it? Like a heating pad kind of thing. Look what I got. I named her Effie. So um, this is a, uh, a thing that you stick in the microwave and it gets warm and you pop it into the stuffy and your stuffy is snuggly and warm and it is something that you can cuddle with. Yes, I know stuffy animals are not for everybody, but I really like them. And, um, and I love having something that's warm and snuggly because warm, especially this time of year, a lot of why I don't feel good, it's the cold, it really is. And thing number two kind of ties into that. And that is this thing which is, um, it's like a massage thing for your neck, but it's also heated, which is crazy cool. No, but the cool thing with, um, with, with that guy is that, um, 
it says it's for your neck and, and it's awesome for your neck, but I put it in the small of my back as well. And you can put it halfway up your back as well. And it works great. It is really, really good. And it's way cheaper to buy <laughs> something that's for your neck than buying a full back thing. And I've been going crazy. Every time I go to Costco, my family knows I'm like sitting in the massage chair thing. So this has been brilliant. The entire family has been using it a lot. So it's nice because it's not just me, it's everybody. But I love that it's heated too. That is really cool. It's a really nice feature. On that happy note, being the one of pain, um, I was going to address, somebody said something in the comments the other day about, um, am I always in pain? <laughs> yes. The, the short answer, there, there's a long and a short answer, I guess. Um, the, the short answer is yes, I am always in pain. Um, it, it's difficult to explain, but it's like there's a baseline, sort of, that's more or less pretty much always there. Um, I don't remember the last time I was completely pain free, but then there's also like, you have the baseline, but then there's the, you know, when things act up outside of that and get really bad um, and it's it's difficult because I think when you live with fibro or chronic pain of any type um, it wears you down it really does and um, I don't think people who, who, who don't live with it get it I, re I really don't but um, for those of us who do we know um, and it's I mean you take the concept of of being hangry hungry angry like you know like if you're hungry you get in a bad mood um, the impact that fibro and that chronic pain can have on your mood your mental health and your well-being is huge and something that I think people overlook and they think of it as okay pain is pain and you pop a pill and it goes away it doesn't with fibro and there is a definite feeling of hopelessness to that and I struggle with that a lot and I have for a very long time um, depression and anxiety the feeling of hopelessness and is anybody ever going to be able to help me? <laughs> um, is anything ever going to work? And I think that's why to me, the toolkit or the, the things that I do um, are really important because it's my my way of, of trying to do something. Uh, and no, I'm never completely pain free. And at some point, I think I've had to say, okay, I'm going to be happy with this is good enough for now. And, um, and that's a difficult accept acceptance to get to, I think. And I'm not always there. It's not linear. It's not like, this is my journey. I got diagnosed. This happened. And now I'm here. Yay. Everything's great. You know, that's not how it is. I have days when, 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 when shit is bad. And, and I'm in a hole and things are just not good. It's easy for me or to, to come on here and be like, yay, this is this and this is that. And you know, smiley, smiley. And a lot of times I do choose happiness and I do choose to try to focus on the small things that do work because I find that that is better for my mental health and that's what works for me. Um, I do think that, that working with my mindset has been a huge thing with all of this. It pisses me off when people say fibro isn't dangerous. It doesn't, you know, cause any damage. And I can understand out of a physiological standpoint. No, it doesn't maybe, I guess, 
It's not like your arm is gonna rot off and fall fall off, you know. That sounds really, really gross. But <clears throat> but I'm just saying the impact that it has on your mental health and on your heart, living with that constantly, it causes damage. There is definite damage there. And with that being said, I'm gonna say that the biggest thing you can have in your toolbox is love for yourself. That's not always there. Like, it's easy to say, but that's not always there. Um, but a willingness to work on your mental health and to um, to find ways. Like, if it is, I know the BetterHelp app is a really good one for looking for a therapist, looking for somebody to talk to. Uh, finding community and finding people who know what you're going through and and this is a good place for that it is um i love when you guys talk to each other in the comment section about your experiences and things like that and just supporting each other through this because we all have different experiences but there's that common knowledge of i know where you're coming from and that is so priceless that is amazing so working on our mental health, taking care of ourselves um, is priority number one. And I hope that I will see you guys next week. We'll see. It's a little bit like that, this, you know, right now. But I hope that I'll see you guys next week and uh, keep talking to each other, keep supporting each other. I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.